Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to my review of the Space Mouse Pro Wireless. Uh, the Bluetooth edition, brand new in the 3D connection lineup. Now, if you don't know what a Space Mouse is, it's basically a uh, mouse, a 3D mouse on uh, steroids uh, used by CAD artists and 3D artists. Well, what does that mean? Well, we're going to talk about that in this video. But basically what we have here is a very ergonomic design that's used by CAD artists and 3D artists and has a lot of customizable features, right? All these buttons here have a function while you are modeling in 3D or using a CAD application, right? We'll start on the left hand side here, the menu button. Um, depending on the application you're running, you can push this button and that will allow you to customize the buttons you're using in that software. So I can have a function appointed to, let's say, button number one here, right? When I'm in Maya, uh, that has a different function than what I'm using it in ZBrush or in 3D code. So it makes it very, very uh, flexible, which is kind of cool. Now, you can do that in this uh, menu right here, if you push that. Then here on the left-hand side, we have the typical uh, buttons you use on the keyboard, like uh, Alt, Control, uh, Escape, Shift, that kind of thing. Then we have one, two, three, and four programmable buttons, as I just mentioned. We've got four buttons that will allow you to have your 3D object jump into a certain position, like front view, side view, and so forth. This button in the middle is a lock button, which will uh, lock the object in a certain angle, if you like. And then down here, we have the fit button. And I'm going to show you that as we jump into the applications, all right? So let's start off in Maya. All right, so we're in Maya, we have an object, and uh, let's demonstrate the menu button, right? Just to prove to you that depending on the application you're running, you will have a different overview. So let me go in here and just uh, push that button. And on the screen, you now see that you have Maya on top. It identifies that you're in Maya, and it allows you to go in here to the advanced settings, change whatever function you want to change here you can go and close or you can go into buttons and here you can appoint what feature you want atta attached to what right and uh, yeah even here i mean it says escape is the escape key and so forth but you can actually go in here and you can change that to uh, where or what you want to use right so super super um, flexible i would say so we're going to close that out and you can change the speed here as well if you want. We're going to close that out and I'm going to go to 3D code just to prove that you can do the same thing there. We're in 3D code. Let's push that menu button again. And there you go. We now have the option to change all these buttons in 3D code if you like. All right. So how about the uh, elephant in the room, I would say, and that's basically this guy, the big knob in the middle. What does that do? Well, it's a mouse, of course, right? And this is how intricate that is and how easy you can move things around, right? It's absolutely amazing. And it feels super intuitive. It's literally a matter of minutes and you're using this guy, right? Okay, so what can I do? Well, if I, and it's simple actually, if I take this uh, 3D uh, knob in the middle and I push it to the left, it'll go to the left. Push to the right, go to the right. If I pull, it will go straight up. If I push, it will go straight down. How about rotating it? If I tilt it to the left, it will rotate around. If I tilt it to the right, it will rotate around. If I tilt it forward or backward, super, super intuitive. You can push it out, you can push it back in. So yeah, there's not really a lot to say about it. I mean, it's like I said, it's super intuitive. I mean, if you have been using this for minutes, you know exactly what to do, right? So yeah, um, we got these buttons here, like I mentioned. Uh, first of all, the one that I programmed, the Control Z button. So let's say I go in here and I change something, right? I just scale this in that direction. I can push this button number one and it will undo my last action because I programmed that as control Z or control Z based on where you're living, right? Okay, cool. So what about these buttons right here? 
Um, okay, let's uh, throw that guy over here somewhere. And let's say I want it uh, fitted to the center of my screen. I'll push the fit button. There you have it, it's now in the middle. I can then draw it back in. Let's say I want to see it from a certain view. I can push this button, that one, that one, or that one, right? And then we'll hit fit again, and there you have it. There he is. Now, uh, one button left, the one in the middle here. Let's say my object is at an angle, right? So instead of this, I want to look at my object from this angle only. I can push the lock button, and right now I can zoom all over the place, but I can't change that angle. Just in case you want to work on something like that, right? So yeah, uh, that's all there is to mention about this guy. Um, it is a super solid uh, object, uh, very heavy, uh, which is important because I don't like this moving around all over the place. As far as setup is concerned, you have a Bluetooth dongle that goes in your PC. On this uh, unit, there's a power switch. You turn it on and then you're ready to go. You go to the connection website, you download the drivers and bam, you're running, right? So yeah, that's all I wanted to share about this guy. I'm going to be using this uh, in pretty much all my applications. I tested it in ZBrush, in Maya, in 3D Code, uh, in KeyShot, and even in Photoshop, right? So it can be basically used anywhere. That's what I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, check out their website. Um, they did not pay me to do this review, uh, but that said, they did provide the unit, right? But like I said, I've been using uh, the Space Mouse for many, many years already, so nothing new there, right? Okay, so that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Check out their website if you like this kind of thing, and I'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Bye. Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.